Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. appearing oh come let us adore thee oh come let us adore thee oh come let us adore thee good morning Today we celebrate the solemnity of the humble shepherds, so let us begin in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment and confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission, so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidior found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, will be for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say one Our Father and one Hail Mary. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For when peaceful stillness compassed everything, and the night in its swift course was half spent, your all-powerful word from heaven's royal throne bounded, a fierce warrior into the doomed land. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, have God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us, the unseated at the right hand of the Father, receive. 
The Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. God our Father, when your Son came into this world, you chose humble shepherds as the first witnesses of his incarnation. As we honor them, may we continue to proclaim his presence among us. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. See, the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth, say to daughter Zion, your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. Our response is, a light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many isles be glad. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. Light dawns for the just, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, you just, and give thanks to his holy name. A light will shine on us this day. The Lord is born for us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we had done, but because of his mercy, he saved us through the bath of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom he richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ, our Savior, so that we might be justified by his grace and become heirs in hope of eternal life. This is the word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord is king, robed with majesty. The Lord is robed, girded with might. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When the angels went away from them to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. This is the gospel of the Lord.
Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. These words are taken from today's gospel according to St. Luke, in the name of the Father and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, the solemnity of the humble shepherds is unique to our Polish National Catholic Church. And I think it's a very beautiful solemnity, focusing on the very first people to whom were announced, was announced the birth of the Messiah, after Mary and Joseph, of course. Why would the Lord choose to send angels to the lowliest possible people to let them know first that the long-awaited Messiah had come? Well, why was our Lord born in a cave serving as a barn? He came for the lowly. He came for the most vulnerable. He came for those who suffer and are hurting. So of course, he made his appearance in the lowliest way possible, announced by choirs of angels to the lowliest people possible, the ones looked down upon because they provided the animals for the temple sacrifices. And yet there they were, in the middle of the night, watching the sheep, doing their jobs. The light came in the form of a star. The angels came. What did they do? They ran. They ran to see the Messiah with Mary and Joseph. The king, born of a lowly carpenter, and the virgin. That's why he came for us, because all of us are sinners. I hate to break it to you, but if you think you're not, you still are. <laughs> but he came for us because he loves us so much that he wants us to be with him forever. And he came so that he could experience what it's like to be a created human being just like us, to have all the joys and the sorrows the sufferings, and the playfulness. It's the whole human experience that God understands now. And he's with us in all of that because he knows intimately what it's like. Because he was born, a little baby, laying in a feed trough, visited first by the lowliest shepherds. So let us be like the shepherds. Come with joy to the manger and sing with them Gloria and Excelsis Deo as we celebrate the birth of our Savior who understands us intimately. Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us, in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
the humble shepherds trusted in God's love and care with the same confidence we present to God our needs and concerns. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may respond to the presence of Jesus in the Holy Eucharist with greater love and devotion, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, that they will build a culture in which all life is revered, protected, and promoted, and the teachings of Christ are followed, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear For married couples, that their lives will be models of the love between Christ and his church, we pray to the Lord. Lord For our families, that they may always look to the example of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and strive to be schools of holiness and prayer, we pray to the Lord. For all the sick, especially those on our parish prayer list, that they may be brought to health and wholeness through the mercy of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord For our own intentions that we hold deep in the silence of our hearts, and for whom this Mass is being offered, the repose of the soul of Chuck Entis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our beloved deceased and those who will die today, that they may enjoy eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we thank you for the gift of life and family. Answer all our prayers and bring all people into your family of grace. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Give to the Lord glory to his name, bring gifts and enter his courts. Blessed you, Lord God, all creation to give us bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands of made, may it become for us the bread of life. The mystery of this wine. water. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, through your goodness, wine to offer through the vine work from your hands, may it become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Come, Holy Spirit, and bless this sacrifice which we prepared for the glory of your holy name. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Receive this offering, most holy trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary of all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Heavenly Father, in your mercy accept our gifts that we offer. By sharing in this holy Eucharist, may we come to more fully live the love we profess. We ask this through our Lord. Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <coughs> Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son Jesus Christ our Lord. You showed us your great love by sending your only begotten Son to live among us. Today we honor those humble shepherds who were the first to hear and proclaim the glad tidings of the birth of Jesus announced by the heavenly host. Your strengthen and increase your church by calling men to shepherd your people and witness to the good news of salvation. Therefore, with the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. The Holy Sacrifice of the Mass will continue with Eucharistic Prayer 4, which is found on page 88. Blessed are you, Lord of all majesty and King of eternal glory, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. In him, your word was made flesh. In him, the fullness of your grace was revealed in splendor. In all things, he fulfilled your will and glorified your name. He proclaimed your kingdom to us, he broke the power of darkness over us. He took our guilt upon himself. He reconciled us to you and unlocked a new paradise for us. As the way, the truth, and the life, he has revealed your love to us. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death on a cross and by rising restored our life. On the night in which he was betrayed, to undergo that suffering which he himself had chosen, he took bread into his hands Lifting his eyes to you, his heavenly Father, he gave thanks. He blessed the bread, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which is given for you. supper had ended, he took the cup and gave thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Together, your death, Lord Jesus, we proclaim. Your resurrection, we celebrate. Your return in glory, we await. Therefore, Father, we remember his saving passion, his glorious resurrection, as exaltation at your right hand. We await his coming in the fullness of majesty. We here set forth the sign of our faith in him who offered you the perfect sacrifice and gained for us eternal salvation. Send your Holy Spirit, the giver of life and holiness upon us and upon these gifts, the bread and wine of eternal life, together. Holy Spirit, come to us. Fill us with your gift of grace. Take these gifts from our hands, Lord God, as an acceptable sacrifice through which we offer ourselves to you so that the bread which we break and the cup which we bless may be a sharing in the body and blood of your Son. 
May all who receive from your heavenly altar always remain united with you, together with all your saints and chosen ones, with the blessed and glorious Virgin Mary, the mother of our Lord, and with King David, whose memory we keep today, with your prophets and apostles, with your martyrs and confessors, and with all who stand about your throne in praise and prayer. Grant also, Lord, a share in that glory to the departed and to those whom we remember before you in a special way we remember Chuck Entis. Deal with them and with all people according to your merciful kindness and let perpetual light shine upon them. Remember also your servants on earth for whom we invoke your mercy. We especially remember today the Entis family. Bless your church throughout the world. Grant it unity and peace. Renew the earth according to your promise. Remember all peoples and grant that all nations may give you thanks, worshiping and praising your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Page 95, let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us wish each other a happy new year. Let us say together the First Communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. May 
the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life? For those who are joining us online or who for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. In my heart, with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. body and blood of Christ. Now may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now may God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Oh my God, bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. The body and blood of Christ. The body of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Sorry, I forgot the CD. Lord, may possess with a pure heart that which I have taken as food. May the gift I have received bring me healing and strength now and forever.
The needy will never be forgotten, nor will the hope of the afflicted ever fade. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, through this holy communion, may your steadfast love be with us. Before all others you called the humble shepherd to give praise, honor, and glory to your son at the stable in Bethlehem. We thank you that the poor, the humble, and the forgotten in the world are remembered by you. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Please join me now in a prayer for peace with the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for our Holy Mass today. Uh, tomorrow, January 1st, is the Solemnity of the Circumcision of our Lord, which is a holy day. Um, so we recommend that you attend. Um, we hope you have a wonderful day, wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in a state of grace, fight evil wherever you find it, and spread joy wherever you go. Let the world, the world is calm. Let every sea.